So I've disappointed San while recording this. Uh, he had heard that there, I was playing an adventure game similar to Deja Vu and Shadowgate, and he was like, Sweet! I remember how many deaths we had whenever we did that. I'm gonna come along! Unfortunately, he hasn't gotten as much death as he would have liked, and this game actually makes sense. So... Uh, it, <laughs> it tries. It's doing a better job. I mean, there are some things that, you know, don't make the best connection, but for the most part, it's just one big logic puzzle. Whereas, uh, Shadowgate is one big death puzzle. And uninvited is one big unscrew the fucking cat puzzle. So there we go. Those are the final coins we own. And those are the last coins we need. Because we don't need to leave this area anymore in order to win the game. I'm sorry I didn't get to showcase the, le the yellow cab. I forgot about it. We're not going to do it. If you want to do it, you'll just have to do it on your own. C'est la vie, children. C'est la vie. Yes, yes, Bob. I'd rather see you than the mugger. I don't have 50 cents on me. I can't even buy a newspaper, man. Come on. Now, we have everything we need to get win the game. And so here's what you need to win. You need to have evidence that proves your innocence in the kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and the murder of Joe Siegel. In particular, there are three items of evidence which will help secure your victory against the forces of darkness. We have all three of those items. If you go to the police before you have all three of these items, you will not win. Oh shit. A woman comes out of nowhere and says, It's been a while. I just got out of prison. I wanted to pay our old friend Siegel a visit, but I only found his car out front. So I prepared a little surprise under the hood. Something to even the score. I've got a little surprise in my purse for you too. Hello everybody. <laughs> what I meant to say is that, hey everybody, say hello to Sugar Shack. That's right folks, have you paid attention to the notes and memos that we got in uh, Ace Harding's office, you know that she has a connection with both Joe Siegel and Ace Harding. She is to blame for the bomb in uh, Joe Siegel's Mercedes Benz, and a little surprise in her purse, probably not makeup. Probably not. Aw, I was really hoping. Now, uh, you know, we, we should we should take a look at her just to make sure that she is who we think she is, and perhaps not. Blam. You're too late, pal. She used a gun from her purse to plug you full of holes. Now, of course, she won't suffer anything. I'm sure she won't go to jail. I mean, it, the gun was in her purse. She'll escape just fine. It'll be happy, happy ending for her. Huggles and Rainbow Kittens. Us, we're fucking dead. Seems like everybody can just kill Ace Harding, but whenever Ace Harding tries to kill somebody, it's like, no! Access to you God! Didn't hear pass that law? <coughs> no! When did this happen in Chicago? Come on! Damn it. So we don't have time to dally, like, like with the muggers. We have to act immediately. Now, you say gun, I say gun. I have a bullet of the gun. I loaded that gun with that extra bullet just so I could do this. You decide to shoot her. The cops are right around the corner and show up immediately. That's right, folks. Even though she intended to murder us, we're, we're, we're convicted of first degree murder because we're such horrible people. Because, you know, they didn't find the gun in her purse at all, and... Yeah. We're sentenced to death, everybody. So once again, killing somebody is not the answer. Does anybody know out there who hasn't played this game before what the solution 
the defeating Sugar Shack is. San, do you have any ideas? Um, uh, no. <laughs> San is not a gumshoe at heart. He is not a detective. When he was asked to find uh, Carmen San Diego in elementary school, he he, he could not. He, he could not. He did not keep track of her. He he was not. He was not a uh, not a prime detective. I was gonna lost when we played hide and seek. <laughs> that is unfortuitous. Did you get lost in the daytime? Were you playing hide and seek at daytime? Nope. Oh. In the house too. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, like we were planning on doing with Martha Vickers, except for the fact that she wasn't responding to us, we're going to Falcon Pond Sugar Shack in the Baby Maker. You may want to close your eyes for this. Actually, her purse is kind of blocking that. Let's just, uh, hit her in the face. That seems fair and reasonable. Socko! Socko! How does that work? Because that's the scripted way to deal with Sugar Shag. A punch to the face. Actually, hitting her. Yeah, but... She... No. You would think she has the advantage. She has a gun on us in her purse. That she's going to be shooting from her purse. Like the mugger had a trained gun on us, but this is Ace Harding, Private Eye. He used to be a boxer. His punches are amazing. <laughs> I, I wasn't having creepy thoughts pop into my head right now. Well. Oh. We have this prone woman here on the sidewalk. Oh yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and take a look at her. <laughs> Looks like you hit her pretty hard. She's out cold. Damn. Let's go ahead and open this purse here. Open the handbag. Sweet! Cosmetics! I knew she was going to decorate us. Yes! In another $20 bill? And a Saturday night special. Yes! And it was Saturday night whenever I started recording this. It works! <laughs> We're taking all of this. It did work. Yes, it did work for past Grimoth. Alrighty, everybody, that was a success. We won't have to deal with her anymore. We kind of took her gun anyways, and her cosmetics. So she wouldn't want to deal with us anyway. So, he's got all this loot in hand. We've solved the mystery. We've broken the case. It's time for us to reap our well-deserved reward. Oh. What? Click. Thank you for the mouse pointer. <laughs> Click. Cut. You, you did. It was there. I saw it. Click, cuffed by the cops, your story interests them, so they investigate the murder and the kidnapping. Various facts were brought to light. Unluckily, they found your gun. Uh-oh. Not the gun won. Your fingerprints were all over it. The bullets were the same as the slugs pulled from Siegel's body. Uh-oh. Though your story makes Sternwood and Vickers seem guilty, the gun was proof that you were the killer. Shit! You're out of luck, buddy. Oh, you're gonna drop a gun on the sewer? Indeed. So, oh, by the way, uh, I didn't actually really complete the memo here. That memo just has indentations on it, but it is also an important piece of evidence. And to reveal that, we have to use a traditional uh, gumshoe technique that all of you old school detectives uh, will know about. Take the pencil and apply it to the memo. 
Using the pencil to shade over the indentations on the pad, you are now able to read them. So, what are you waiting for, Ace? Read them. Timetable. 2.15 a.m. Be sure Joe's bar is closed up and all employees are gone. 2.30. Have the missus situated in the women's stall. Make sure she is bound and unconscious. Damn. What is with this keeping the, the 400 pound woman all bound and gagged? That's not right. That's cruel and unjust. For shame. That poor tub of lard. Ace's, Ace's words, not mine. 2.45 a.m. Be waiting near the bar, front door, for Ace's arrival. 3 a.m. Put Ace in stall. Be sure he's unconscious. Inject him with 10 cc's of di diethanol trimene. Take his gun and stuff. <laughs> Take his gun and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. I like stuff. Do you like stuff? Yeah, stop! <laughs> Take his gun. <laughs> That's a professional memo right there. 3.15 a.m., wait for Siegel. 3.30 a.m., get Siegel behind his desk, then plug him with Ace's gun. This probably would have been useful to know before we went to the police station the last time. Get Siegel's car keys. 3.45 a.m., plant Siegel things on Ace. That's why that coat is... A Full of that handkerchief that has JS on it, the lighter, the gold plated lighter that has JS on it, those are Joe Siegel's stuff. Those are, that's Joe Siegel's stuff. His stuff. Be sure his fingerprints are on it. 4 a.m. Dump Big Misses in Siegel's car. Put stuff in glove box. Put car key in Ace's coat. Put other key in safe. Leave bar and lock up. Be sure not to leave ransom case behind. On the way home, plant new seagull letter in Ace's file. What a setup. If you don't do something soon, they'll nail you for murder and kidnapping. Boy, this is a nightmare. You'll have to get complete proof of your innocence to the cops. Now, uh, as has been noted, Sand noted it, and, uh, you folks, you gum shoes at home should have been able to note this as well. The gun is the primary thing that is, uh, that is, uh, basically pointing the, um, the guilty verdict at us. However, it is not the only piece of evidence condemning us. Even if we were to deposit uh, the gun in the sewer, if we were to come back to the, uh, the police station with just everything else, we'd still get thrown in prison. Because the facts would be too... The facts would immediately point to us. And to be fair, all of our fingerprints are kind of at the crime scene. You know, kind of all over Joe Siegel's body as we fumble over his pockets and everything. Because we're not experts at exploring crime scenes. So, we have more to worry about here. In this instance, we have, I believe it's four pieces of evidence on our person that condemn us. In order to um, in order to make ourselves free and clear and innocent, we have to get rid of all four of those. We shall do so in the deepest part of the sewer. Now, obviously, the first piece of evidence that we have to get rid of is the gun. Get rid of the gun that killed Joe Siegel and the gun we've been using this entire time. I only used four bullets of it. I didn't have to get any of the bolt, the reloaded bullets. Those are just there in case you desire to go fire willy-nilly on things in an attempt to solve puzzles, like unlocking locks. I didn't mean shit. I meant to take the deepest part of the sewer. <laughs> Oops. Just try leave. Discard the gun one. Now, the theme and rule you can follow in this situation is the game won't actually allow you to discard something if you need it. Like the keys, they won't allow you to leave the keys behind. It also won't allow you to leave any important evidence behind. So if you're really truly stumped, if all else fails, you can bring everything in the game over here and try to throw it away. And the game will not let you throw away the stuff you need to convict uh, Vickers and Sternwood of murder and kidnapping. 
But that's not... That's not cool. That's not how we roll. We're true gumshoes. And you should be too. So take the time right now. You go back through all the videos if you want. Flip through all the information we have here. Uh, although you really can't. You just have to look at the inventory. And remember all the items we've picked up. And remember what the memo said. We have evidence that we need to dispose of in order to, to avoid being convicted of these crimes. So, yeah. Take the break. Don't mind. I'll give you a moment. I'm just going to take a drink of milk. Just, just think. You can pause the video. I'll, I'll be here whenever you get back, so we'll stand. I promise. I don't. <laughs> Sand's not much of a person on commitment, but I give myself body and soul truly and completely to my viewers. Not mentally, of course, because I need that. <laughs> so, you managed to figure out what we need to dispose of in order to uh, avoid uh, getting convicted of murder and kidnapping? Maybe? Maybe not? Let's see here. Sam, do you have any ideas? Uh, wasn't there a letter? Let's see here. Perhaps, uh, this IOU that says Ace Harding owes Joey Siegel $1,000? A note that we didn't write? Indeed, that is a one piece of evidence, uh, tying us to the kidnapping and murder. Let's ditch that. Alrighty. Now, um, you recall the memo also said, uh, leaving a file in Ace Harding's office, tying us to Joe Siegel. That file is File 5, which, uh, basically really ties us to the whole kidnapping thing and says that we were part of the plot. So, we need to dispose of that file as well. Where can you leave it? Right there. Now there's one more piece of evidence here in all of our persona that will actually tie us to the murders, or at least that's what the game reasons. There are other items which we would interpret as being able to tie us to the murder, but this is truly damning evidence. And you might not remember this one. Do you have any ideas of what the last final piece is? No. Okay. Whenever we uh, looked into the car, before we, you know, had an earth-shattering kaboom there and, uh, set everything on fire. Well, afterwards, we had checked out the dashboard in that alternate reality that we're currently in. We found a map here, a street map, uh, leading the way to Joe's bar. And written on the back of the map, Ace, follow this route exactly, watch the speed limit, the cops might find the hostage in the trunk. Ah, this must be the map on the timetable. Sternwood must have wrote this. That's right, same handwriting. Sternwood wrote that message in an attempt to set us up. Leave map in the sewer. And that's it, folks. Or should be it. There's a chance I could be wrong. Worst case, we'll come back to the sewer. But I don't think I am. It's been a while since I've played this game, but... <laughs> Deja Vu is much easier in the realm of logic than trying to put a gem in a mummy. <laughs> Thankfully. Phew! Sando is pretty disappointed. He wanted to laugh more at my failures. But yeah. The coat with the lighter, the gold-plated lighter, and the handkerchief... That's all fine and well. That's not a problem. But that stuff, it was. Don't ask me how that logic works. I believe it's the same way. The original. Whatever. Thankfully, we have gun too. So if things get dicey, we can still shoot somebody. And we have a $20 bill, so we could go buy... The $20 special is gun 3. And you can pick up the bullets for it as well. Because those are the bullets for gun 3. It works exactly the same as the other two guns. Nothing special. So here we are at the police station. Let's go ahead and move in. You're in the hands 
of the police. The evidence you've brought to them proves to be interesting. In the courtroom where you wind up during the trial of the kidnapping of Mrs. Sternwood and murder of Joey Siegel, three bits of evidence proved valuable. The diary from Vickers' bungalow, the blackmail letter, and timetable from Sternwood's bedroom. These three items put together paint the picture of a plot by Sternwood and Vickers to kill Mrs. Sternwood and Siegel and to make you take the fall for it. The diary and the blackmail letter provided the motive for such actions. The timetable indicated how they did it. Sternwood and Vickers were grilled on the witness stand. The weight of evidence and the skilled lawyer, t the skilled tactics of your lawyer made Vickers admit to the crime. Way to go, Ace. Because of your excellent skills, the case is laid to rest. The Ace Harding School of Investigation certifies as a fairly fully qualified private investigator with full privileged and honors. With full privileged? Full privileged. <sighs> I. That's that's supposed to match like uh the certificate. Uh, all the Mac Venture games allow you to print out a certificate on them, like the computer. Obviously, the Nintendo Entertainment System can't allow you to use a printer. Or if it can, uh, <laughs> they didn't think of it. <laughs> so there you go. Now, uh, hold on for a moment. I'm going to uh, crank up my volume here for uh, the game just a little bit louder so we can hear some uh, final credits music. Not really final credits music, just the final scene music. Congratulations, Ace. You're off the hook. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Since the case drew national interest, your name is seen on every paper in the country. That could be good and that could be not good. We'll see in Deja Vu 2, children. We'll see in Deja Vu 2. Who could have asked for anything more? Me. I could have asked for an anatomy. And San could have asked for more deaths. Ace Harding's my moniker. Once a boxer, now a private eye. Siegel lost his life for a mere 20 grand, so I'm off the hook. The town's really quiet all of a sudden, like nothing's happened. But crime will never cease here. It's hunting its next, next victim right at this moment. Ace Harding's my moniker. I'm repetitive like a parrot. The next case is just around the corner. <laughs> Somebody had better look out. The end. Aww. Where's the Joker? Where's <laughs> our <laughs> I don't have throat cancer. <laughs> That's right. I mean, it's a whole story of revenge and everything. Ace Harding might as well be Batman, right? Right. And that concludes the Nintendo Entertainment System version of Deja Vu, complete with music, color, simplified uh, descriptions, frustrating uh, inventory system, but still a much better logic puzzle than Shadowgate or Uninvited. Thankfully. <laughs> fucking hate that. <laughs> no fucking mummies here. Thank you all for joining me on this uh, wonderful excursion into the land of uh, Icon Simulations video games. And I'd like to thank you, Sand, for listening along and providing uh, commentary when it was needed. Well, you're welcome. I didn't really do a lot of commentary, but Oh yes, but uh, you, it was. I feel as if I maintained my sanity better by having you there, in the co-chair. You were the the yang to my yin, uh, and together we achieved a sort of a Sinzuni uh, equilibrium, or something nonsensical like that. We should do this more often. We should. I should make you record this time so I don't have to deal with this and uh, I can just uh, snipe at everything you do. Alright. 
And, uh, you know, uh, it, well, wor worst case, you know, I, I do believe this ending uh, is certainly, uh, we'll just say it's much different than the ending we had in the Shadowgate one. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I blame Dewey for that one, actually. You know, uh, the house was on fire, and... <sighs> yeah, that came out of nowhere. It was just, you know, he was playing Minecraft while, you know co-commentating at the same time and he felt like sharing because he was so distraught I reckon <laughs> uh, alright everybody next time we will I was trying to find a uh, way to uh... LGWIZ <laughs> next time on LGWIZ <laughs> Goku and Gohan <laughs> Cell has been defeated but yet he regenerated God damn it. I take back everything I said about you being the yang to my yin. You are a terrible influence. Uh, alrighty, folks. I think it's time for this ending to be gotten on with. Doodaloo.